Carlos Nelson with Cascade Sports, and today we're at St. Teresa's Academy at one of their practice, and we have a couple of their star players, uh, one of their young freshmen. Who do we have here? Hi, I'm Jaslyn Rhodes, class of 2027. I go to STA. Hey, run it down from kindergarten. Who have you played for? What are some of the coaches that uh, you played for? And uh, what position you play? And what grade are you in? Come on, run it on down. Okay, so I started basketball when I was three years old. Grade school didn't have no basketball, but I did attend Raytown Middle when I played my eighth grade year. I've been playing basketball since I was young, and I've gained a love for it ever since. Who were some of your coaches when you were young, or can you remember their names? That I can't remember my AAU coach name. Shout out CJ Boone. All right. What did you get from CJ that you want to give him that shout out? What did he teach you? So I, I met him in the sixth grade and I just feel like he had a faith in me nobody else had. I've gained a bond with him ever since then and I just feel like he believed me so that's why I play for Unity 2027. 20, 20, 20, 20, have you had any accolades since you've been playing ball? Accolades as in people uh, noticing that you got a little bit of talent. Yes, I have three offers as of now, and I continue. Three offers where? Cincinnati, Wichita State, and ACU. Yeah, because you were highly talented. I made some phone calls last night, and they were saying, St. Teresa's got a young freshman over there trying to ball all the way out of control. I'm like, I don't believe it. Let me make a run, and that's why I'm here. Uh, Who's been some mentors in your your personal life? Everybody else said their dad, but I want to mention my mom. She played college ball and played ever since she was young. So Where did she play at? She played at UMKC. All right. So she taught me, and then just growing up, watching my older brother play basketball, it just gained a love for me. And also James Thornton, I trained with him, and he has – helped you with your game. Mm -hmm. so what, what do you consider the best part of your game? I say my skill level and my mindset, just having basketball IQ, I feel like is the highest point, just like my dedication to the game. Uh, on a one to 10, what kind of uh, handles do you have? I say a nine, there's always room for improvement. Watch out, you it, got it. Yeah, uh, uh, where do you like to shoot from? I shoot anywhere. I mostly get to the basket easily since I'm lengthy. So I just like getting to the basket and breaking my defender off bounce. Uh, three point? Of course. Oh, all right. I don't know. You know, some people like to shoot from the corner, top of the key, mm -hmm. and have spots. You all around. All around. All right. Uh, on a one to ten, what's your defense like? I'll say a nine two. I get deflections easily and use my length as my advantage for anybody I'm guarding. Speed? There. It's there? Yes. Uh, with Cascade Sports being home and a student athlete, how important is your education? My education is very important. I feel like this transfer in like from public school to private school, my education has grown ever since then. I'm just super blessed for all the What kind of change had uh, from public school to private school? What kind of change has that been on you, the adjustment? It's been a wild change, but also for the better. I feel like my maturity has grown ever since I've stepped forward. All right. You shouting out? I just want to shout out all the people who support me and all the people who have faith in me throughout my whole journey. All right. You know who you sounding like? Who? You sound like that young sprinter that everybody was all upset with her and all of this. And then when she started breaking them world records, everybody's like, getting on her and she's doing a wonderful job now and so we off to the other part of this dynamic duel here who we got here um i'm taylor osborne um i started playing basketball when i was eight years old um in third grade i've always moved around a lot so i've been around a lot of different programs a lot of different levels of coaching and um i've just grown ever since um um, I also came from Raytown Middle School with Jazz. Did you all, you all play together on the same team then? Unfortunately, we did not because in my eighth grade year, Jazz was suffering from an injury, so we didn't get to play together. But she turned up her eighth grade year, and I'm really proud of her. Yeah. Um, uh, I'd like to shout out 
Justin generally. He was my longest AAU coach, and he really just like gave me the confidence that I have today, and um, he just got me where I am, and he always just had faith in me. Um, and talk, talk, talk about uh, your game in general. Describe what you would, if you were describing yourself, run it down, plan. Uh, well, I like to shoot a lot. Um, I, Boy, I like that. She did. <laughs> Audience, did you hear her? <laughs> I just don't like to shoot. <laughs> I like to shoot a lot. <laughs> if I'm open, I'm going to shoot. Is if, there enough balls out there? <laughs> I'm going to find a way. Um, I love that, like, I can, I'm, I've learned to, I've learned to create my own shot. Um, even when I'm not open, I can get there. And then, even if I'm not open and I can't, I'm going to find another way to score or get somebody else the opportunity to score. Uh, I'd say that like my basketball IQ is really high for a player my age because I see gaps and I see things that some people my age wouldn't be able to see on the court. I love it. I love it. You, uh, intelligent, high basketball IQ. Uh, it seemed like, uh, we talked a little bit off camera, it seemed like you really want to go to this next level. Uh, in the sport. With Cascade Sports being the home of the student athlete, let's talk about them books. Um, I'd say that the books are the most important thing when becoming any sort of athlete. Um, they always will be number one, no matter what. Like, even if you don't want them to be, they'll always come before because without, without your education, you can't really do nothing else. What, do you, what, what goals have you set for yourself for this season? Uh, I just want to take it to another level like what she said there's always room for improvement so I'm not satisfied with the way that I play right now I'm not gonna be satisfied with the way I play at the end of the season I just always got to look up for uh, one more. How important is it for you to have the support from your family? It's really important because I wouldn't be here without them obviously. Um, uh, I know that when I first ever was introduced to basketball, a coach walked up to me in a grocery store and asked if I played. And I took it to my mom, and then it just like took off from there. That's how I am. I'd be in the grocery store, see one of you girls that's got some height on you. I'd be like, who you play for? <laughs> and they say, nobody. I'm like, you need to play. Uh, what are you looking forward this season to do? I'm looking forward to just not necessarily like stand out, but show who I am. Like anybody who ever doubted me or just anybody who just isn't sure of how I play, I want them to know. Excellent. You shout now? Yeah, I want to shout out my mom. My mom, she listens to me and no matter how much I talk about anything, she's going to still listen regardless. Like I could have a bad day. Remember what I said me. about how nosy oh, my people are? My mom, Latoya Osborne, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, all right. Well, I'm going to steal one of my partner's closing lines. It was a plum pleasing pleasure <laughs> having you girls on the show. Thank you. Thank you. It's brought to you by the City of Fountains Coaches Association.